Hi everybody, it's Anne Emery with Excel for Evaluators. I'm going to be making several videos about pivot tables. This is the first one. It's just about inserting a pivot table, so it should be pretty fast. Let's take a look at our data down here. This is real demographic data showing how many people were served by a nonprofit organization one year. And let's pretend you want to summarize the data. Maybe you want to see how many Latino versus non-Latino people were served, or just maybe you want to summarize by any of the other demographic variables here. So the fastest way to do that is to use a pivot table. You're going to click on the upper left-hand corner, the very first cell right here. Um, and let's look at a similar data set, data two. Um, this is the exact same data set, but there's some blank rows up here. So in this case, you know, some people say click on A1. That's false. That's a myth. You're not clicking on A1 to insert the pivot table. You're clicking on the upper left-hand corner right here. Okay, so you've got your upper left-hand corner selected. You're going to the Insert tab, and you look for the little icon that says Pivot Table. Just click on it once. You get some funny blinking lines that appear. That's a good thing. You want to see those blinking lines. And on the pop-up window, um, you don't have to do anything. You don't even have to read it. Just click OK. There's your Pivot Table. Let's just rename this. We'll call it pivot, and I like to drag it to the end just so I know exactly where it is. In the next video, I'll show you how to understand what these field areas are and how to drag your variables to summarize your data. So thank you very much. That's inserting a pivot table.